Hi guys, Post Processes here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine series. Today we are going to get into camera works in Unreal, how to attach camera to objects in sequencer, create and combine camera shakes and so on. So buckle up and let's create some epic cinematography. This tutorial will be helpful not only in car animations, which I do mostly, but also will give you general understanding, some useful information and is suitable for beginners. Let's start with the basics. For the level I'll be using one shot of my McLaren video I've posted some time ago. The car is moving object, so it will be perfect example for this case. Here I have the sequence where the car is driving on a straight line. Let's create our camera by clicking here. It will create camera which will only be present in the sequencer, not in the level. We can lock and unlock camera view to pilot the camera and position it as we would like. I will move my camera by dragging it to the top in the sequencer list. And here goes the first tip, how to attach camera to an object. Select your camera and click add track and look for attach track. Select your object or car, in my case, car rig. Make sure that attach track is on for the whole duration of your sequence, or even a little bit out of the sequence range, so you'll be sure that the camera will not teleport to random location during your cinematic or render. After attaching the camera to an object, this object becomes a null, or coordinate origin, and all location transforms will be calculated based on the origin of an object your camera attached to. So let's reset coordinates the camera is attached to, so it will appear in the center of the car. Fly out from the interior and set the composition you like. Adjust focus distance and focal lens to your liking. Very nice, now our camera is following the car. But our camera right now attached to a blueprint and blueprint has many objects. Or if you attach it to skeletal mesh, you would like to have camera respond for body shake, for example, if car goes on bumps. So you need to define which particular component or bone you would like your camera to be attached. Like in the cases if you are doing some dash cam. So right click on attach track, select properties and write here component name or bone name. For my case, that would be body. So now if body position of the car is affected by some curb or road bump, the camera will follow the body and will not stay in place. Tip number two, camera shakes. There is one particular camera shake I've been asked mostly about. If you watch some sports car commercial or movies with a car chase involving dynamic camera movement at high speed, you can see some sort of jittering. This jitter cannot be eliminated even by camera stabilizers as a high-speed device won't be able to respond to this shake. Basically, it appears because of high-speed and uneven road surface, which translates small vibrations to the camera sensor, creating this jerky up-down movement. It is simple to fake, but hard to master. I will show you a simple way, and you can play around with values to get desired result. I will create separate folder for camera shake blueprints, naming it Camera Shakes. Right-click on the empty field in the content browser and select Blueprint class. Type here camera shake and select camera shake base. This one I will call shake jitter. Open blueprint, close it and open again so you will see its proper control window. For root shake pattern, select Perlin noise camera shake. It will make it more random and realistic. For now, we only need location shake on Z axis. So for X and Y, set amplitude to zero. For Z axis, change frequency for something around 15 and set amplitude to two. It will give amplitude of four centimeters in total for moving up and down. Hit compile and save. Get back to your sequence. Select camera, click add track, camera shake, and select our camera shake jitter. Now, as you can see, you have a ramp of camera shake. It is blend in and out for applying this camera shake over time. It means you can change the duration of camera shake, which is right now approximately 2 seconds. Navigate back to our camera shake blueprint, unfold timing tab, 
Here you can change camera shake duration and blend in and blend out time. Set duration to zero, that will make camera shake work for infinite duration. So I can define how long it will be present in the sequence. Hit compile and save. Now I can stretch camera shake for the entire sequence. Let's see how it looks. For my taste right now, the range of motion feels too long and it happens too fast. I will adjust these parameters in the camera shake blueprint to some smaller values. Now it looks much better, feels like the car drives on uneven surface. But that's not all. Bonus tip, you can combine camera shakes. I will duplicate camera shake I have already created and name it Shake Wobble. Add some rotation on all axes just by adding 0.7 multiplier for rotation amplitude. Replace my existing shake jitter with a shake wobble, which already contains Z axis shake and some additional rotation. Now camera movements look more realistic. As I said, you can combine camera shakes and add them separately to your sequence. Now I will remove jitter from my wobble blueprint by setting Z-axis amplitude to zero, so it will not go up and down, leaving only rotation in it. After that, I will add additional shake track to my camera and place Jitter randomly on timeline by holding Alt and dragging it over sequence to duplicate. Now it feels like camera is driving over some curbs on asphalt and gives it some randomness, which makes it feel more real. Let's move to the next tip – camera movement. It is usually simple keyframing of the camera movement, and when it is attached to an object, it's somewhere close. So I will share you my general approach. Set camera position and make a keyframe. Move timeline to other point, and then pilot your camera to new position, which you would like to have. Don't forget to keyframe it. Voila! You have your camera attached to the object and orbiting it around. There are some other techniques which will allow you to achieve the same kind of result, like for example attaching camera to a rail rig or maybe to a crane or other object which follows the car, but I just prefer to use the fastest and easiest way. Also try using linear keyframes for your camera movement. It gives motion a steady movement and makes it better for cuts without ruining the dynamics. You can also combine linear and ease frames to make desired movement. For example, if you want to smooth camera braking. But I find linear movement better for editing and making cuts as there are no moments when camera stands still. And also sometimes this happens. Orbiting your object, camera can do 360 flip. And in that case you would need to use Quaternion. Quaternion interpolation. Hope I said that right. Basically what it does, it finds the shortest rotation between key orientations. To enable it, right-click on transform of your camera, select edit section, and tick the box Use Quaternion Interpolation. It will fix this problem and rotation will be done in proper direction. Only problem that will be only linear keyframes. 
you will not be able to use smooth keyframes. So it is better to check your animation and fix rotation angle by adding or subtracting 360 degrees value on axis which is rotating the wrong way. And the final fifth tip, camera look at tracking. If you want to achieve some shot like that in Unreal Engine, you would definitely need to enable look at tracking, otherwise it is really hard to catch the fast moving object and track it manually with the camera. Sometimes I do that on purpose to keep the desired object in blur to add sense of speed, but if you need your object in focus all the time, you can use look at tracking. In sequencer, select your camera actor, click add track, Select Look at Tracking and add following options. Actor to Track. Select Actor in your sequencer. Add Track to Enable Look at Tracking and tick the checkbox for it. Now your camera will be tracking object and it will remain in the focus and without motion blur. All of the tips which I shared with you today I'm using on a daily basis, almost on every car animation commercial or video that I did, especially I used all of them on this McLaren P1 video which I have created. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one.